Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Where we're standing around in a snowy forest at the moment. Because previously we tried to gain access to a Dwemer Ruin. And were chased off by a bunch of Nords with bows and arrows. How uncivilized, frankly. It's kind of funny, really, because... Um, we, we, and during the Morrowind Let's Play, Fathis never really came across archers very much, and the odd occasions that he did, they were incredibly annoying. Um, there aren't a lot of archer NPCs in Morrowind, um, this is, it, it, but they're all over the place in Skyrim, and they're clearly a pain in the bum. Anyway, at the end of the last episode, I was going to head towards Whiterun, but then I remembered that I have this ring I'm supposed to go and sneak into somebody's house in Windhelm and pop it in their drawers or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so... That's kind of something we need to go do. Also, we're freezing, which is not great. And there's a couple of wolves here. Dealing with. So we're going to make our way back to Windhelm here, hopefully without freezing to death in the process. Because um, <clears throat> we have no camping gear or anything to set up a fire if we need to. But um, also, my, my, my... I know it's been a little while since the... Uh, since the last episode. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is that um, my my Skyrim install very nearly broke because uh, Steam managed to sneakily update it when I wasn't looking. Uh, thankfully, it's all sorted out now. Um, and I've future-proofed it against any potential future updates by doing the thing where you change the, um, the, little, fun the, little, the little files in your Steam apps folder somewhere to read only. You know, that. Those of you who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. Um, so my installation is free from and safe from future updates, um, and everything does no, does work now. Um, it took a bit of troubleshooting though, and I had to uninstall one of the mods I was using, which was the combat music fix, because uh, for some reason, post-update, that mod crashed the game. Weird. Anyway, uh, there's that, and also, as you might be able to tell by the sound of my voice, I'm losing my voice a bit at the moment. My usually reliable uh, vocal cords are crapping out on me at the moment, um, and it's it's not great. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm a little. I woke up this morning, and I would I was talking like this, and I was just like, oh my, what what? I was a little scratchy the day before, but this is getting worse now. So um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's a little inconvenient, but it'll go away eventually. Uh, but unfortunately, we're, we're so behind on, on the new Skyrim episode at the moment, I felt like I should probably record it anyway. In spite of not being quite up to scratch right now. <sighs> okay, we're only very nearly dead. It's fine, we're all good. We can just about make it back all the way, I think. Thankfully, there were no, like really nasty enemies on the road back here. Just a couple of wolves. Alright, here we go. We're almost completely warmed up now, next to this fire by the stables. <laughs> you can see Fathis' bushy eyebrows peering out from under that uh, hood. Do you know I had to install, install an entire extra mod just to be able to get his signature white bushy eyebrows to work? As insane as that sounds. Uh, you, you yeah. Try, try using just the vanilla game graphics. Try making a dark elf with white hair and white eyebrows. It doesn't work. The eyebrows basically turn invisible. It's very annoying. Anyway, we're all warmed up now. Thank goodness. As the evening wears on, what uh, what sort of time is it right now? 7:26 p.m. Perfect. It'll be it'll be dark soon. In fact, I'm amazed it's not dark already, considering our northern latitude in, in Tamriel. I guess it's not... I was about to say it's not it's not winter, but... Um, seasons aren't really a thing that exists in the Elder Scrolls games. I mean, they exist, theoretically, on paper, but they don't actually exist on, on in practice in the actual games. <laughs> not without mods, anyway. Then, I, then again, I, I, I don't know if uh, 
I don't know if, uh, if 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 Skyrim realistically is actually that much of a northern latitude, considering you've got Atmora, which is supposedly much further north. Like, where does where does Skyrim equate to on like a a, a, a globe? When you never mind, I'm overthinking it, aren't I? Big time. Should probably stop that. Has this big ass tower always been here? It feels. Like it hasn't. Anyway. What shall we do in the meantime? Find somewhere warm to go and sit and rest, I suppose. Wait for nightfall. And then we can go sneaking about. Although I wonder if it's maybe better to try and get in during the day. No, no, no. We better, better wait until nightfall. We don't want to be spotted. Let's see, uh, how much money do I have? Basically, bugger all, which isn't very helpful. I've got this golden dragon claw. The, uh, the loot goblin in me wants to keep this and hold on to it as a souvenir, but on the other hand, it's worth money and probably ought to go. In fact, this is not overly sentimental, so, uh, probably, probably should get rid of it. Sneak that ring back to Viola before we both get caught. I'm on it. I'm on it, Sadri. Calm down. Also, why are you talking so quiet, dude? Don't let. Is it just me, or is the is the is the dialogue audio really really quiet for some reason? Interesting. Whatever. Viola, catch you in her house. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh, a bit of this. A bit, a bit better, of anyway. That. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good value. Wait, is he not going to buy the claw? It's not here. It's not in the list. Well, that's just annoying. You can have this at least. And there's leather hood that I'm never going to use. Oh, speech increase. That's nice. The Wolf Queen, Volume Six. Uh, Dwemer fragments. They're not really worth that much, actually, to be fair. Not a lot of what we have really is worth much, except for the cards. Uh, I kind of want to hold on to them, because I've never, ever, when I've played this game with the mod, I think it's Legacy of the Dragon Lawn that adds the cards, I've never managed to complete a deck of these things, and I'd really like to, just to see what they do. Uh, so, Ancient Nord Sword, Iron War Axe. I don't think I need the axe, do I? The sword I might hold on to for now, just because my dagger, at the moment, is not tremendously effective. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm aware there are perks and stuff we can get to make our dagger a lot more effective eventually, but right now our dagger, daggers are sort of a bit of a... They're not a very good choice uh, compared to swords, I don't think. And Fathis has plenty of experience with both. He was always much better skilled with short blade in Morrowind, and daggers were kind of his weapon of choice, but he also got pretty pretty darn good with long blade as well in the end. After all, he was the bearer of gold brand, after all. So using swords makes perfect sense for him, I think. Um, maybe not big two-handers, although he did have a couple of those. He had the Ice Blade of the Monarch, which was a two-hander in... Uh, in um in Morrowind. He also had Chrysomir, but Chrysomir turned out to be not very good with the mod setup I had. Like, damage-wise, it was just a bit pants compared to my other weapons at the time. But anyway, so it ended up just sort of in the treasure hoard along with all the other random artifacts he found. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, Do come again. I'll be back later, Sandry, after I've offloaded this ring, my friend. Hello. I have a lot of respect for Ambaris Randar, but his views are a little extreme. Who? What? I have no idea what he's talking about. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Stoked what fire? There is no fire here. So oh, maybe there's one downstairs. I think this place might have been a bit mm. expanded on. I can hear a crackling fire somewhere. Oh, there's like a there's like a bath in here, a sauna or whatever. Cool. Um, not 
taking a dip right now, but it's I like that it's here. Um, yeah. Much else going on down here? Yes, so on. There's a few rooms. Am I allowed to sleep in this? I am. <gasps> cool. It's because of my dark elf, I wonder. Yes, so on. Well, well, that answers that question apparently. Um. Interesting. I've been down here with this mod set up before with a different character who was a Nord and I was not allowed to sleep in these. So I think it's because I'm a Dark Elf. That's a neat touch. I've got somewhere to stay now, other than the you know, the friggin' Candle Half Hall where the racist Nord runs the place. Um, so that's nice. We got a, we've got a little home away from home here. Not, not, mind you, home is now buried under several hundred feet of ash on Vardenfell. So... <laughs> This is better than nothing, I guess. Hello. What's up with your eyes? Please, leave me be. I don't want any trouble. Uh-oh. I will, I will... It's happened again, hasn't it? This is why the dialogue was so quiet. Difficulty, yeah, this is all fine, I think. Save on character menu. I like saving on character menu, but apparently I can't do anything. Oh my god, what's happening? Controls have gone all weird. Never mind. Uh, whatever. Display subtitles are in here, aren't they? There we go. Oh, I've done that thing again. Where it's reset my preferences. Wow. How annoying. Well met. Well, since I have nothing better to do, I'm going yeah. to take a seat and talk to this young lady with the very strange-looking eyes, and maybe take my hood off because it looks a bit weird indoors. Look like I'm being a bit too uh, antisocial and oh wait I forgot the favorites menu doesn't work when you're sat in a chair funny little Skyrim bugs that never got patched out there we go right hmm? do you visit the stone quarter often just the market of all pities me the meat is fresh and never cooked mm hmm wouldn't it save time to eat a cooked meal, though? He said, probing deliberately. I can't afford to. It, it has to be raw. What about the Hall of the Dead? I don't know why we're asking this. This seems like a weird question to ask, but given the previous dialogue, but okay. I like the shrine, and I, I don't like sunsets. The sky flushes with color, and it, it reminds me of things. As opposed to the catacombs with all its ash and dust. I like it. I mean, I like knowing that we're all dust in the end. It comforts me. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are. It all whittles away. It's strange when certain creatures are made. I've heard their insides are turned to dust. My corpses return to time, but their flesh, it's ageless, as if time forgot them, and I don't know which part is unreal. If I told you someone I knew was taken by a vampire, would that mean he was alive? Uh... Um, it's a vampirism is not a curse, it's not a disease, it's a blessing. Uh, I know what I think. I think your friend is too dangerous to let live. Vampires are made of ashes and flesh. It's the flesh part that's unnatural. I don't like any of these answers. Uh, sometimes these NPC, these old mods that add NPCs to the game, they, they really need to work on their actual player dialogue options because I, I so frequently find... Sorry to break immersion and character and everything for a moment here, but this is a, this is a thing I feel worth commenting on. I frequently find with these mods that the NPCs themselves are quite well written and voice acted, but the uh, the player dialogue options are always really just not very good. Because um, I don't like any of these options. Fathis is a former member of House Telvani. He was quite familiar with vampires. A lot of them he killed, mostly just because they attacked him first, but he, in principle, had no issues with them. I guess she's just going to wander off, and that's fine, actually. Um... 
And so there's no dialogue option there to be like, yes, well, vampirism is basically a disease. It's a, it's a physical affliction, blah, 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 etc., etc. It's not good or evil, it's just what it is. Um, oh, that's Viola's gold ring, which looks amazing, by the way. I think I have a mod that uh, makes some, to add some high resolution, really custom, awesome versions of a lot of the jewelry in the game. Uh, I didn't realize, though, that it did it for just Viola's friggin' ring for this one side quest, though. Because that's quite gorgeous looking, isn't it? That 3D model. That's, that's incredible. Anyway, um, I was ashamed to part with it. Um, tempting to try. I was tempted at one, at one point to sort of just bugger off and sell it to someone. And forget the quest entirely. But I don't know if it would actually let me. It might be a quest item. I'm assuming it's a quest item and I can't actually sell it. If you need anything, come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Uh-huh. I have a lot of respect for well, apparently I, I can't talk to you about any of that stuff. So never mind. Alright, now let's put our hood on. Shall we? Just to obscure our features a little bit. <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, it's a little tiny skeever. Right, Viola Giordano's house. It's over this way somewhere. It's in the posh district, isn't it? It's in the posh bit of Windhelm. As difficult as it is, as it is to believe there is such a thing. This is going to be where we get the typical sort of... Oh, it's only 10pm, I suppose. We get the typical sort of thing, uh, Bethesda RPG thing, where you try to rob someone's house, and even though it's like 3am, they're still awake for some reason. Right, this is it, apparently. The guards just wandered off that way. Perfect. Expert level lock. Oh, this is going to be painful, I can already tell. I've got 18 lockpicks. Ah, uh, the Skyrim lockpicking minigame. I have not missed you. I sincerely hope I can get some sort of unlocking spell eventually. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, close, but no cigar. Okay, it's a little further to the right. Oh, my God. Okay. The pick right on top of that screw in the corner. Okay, a little, little to the left. There we go. Oof. This is where we're greeted immediately by... Okay, no. So far, so good. Right, is there anywhere in particular I need to put the damn thing? Oh, in, just in here. Okay, that's easy. Tempted to just go through here and ransack the place, actually, but... Oh, very tempting, in fact, but uh, no. We don't want to arouse suspicion. So, let's just deposit the ring. And be gone. We don't have access to a fence at the moment anyway, so there's no point in nicking anything at the moment. And while in Morrowind you could sell stolen goods to just about anybody, um, we'll just have to say that, uh, yeah. In, in, in Skyrim, we're just gonna have to, we'll have to wave our magic wand of suspension of disbelief and, and be just simply aware of the fact that Thathus knows he doesn't have access to a fence who would actually buy this stuff. Well, buy the stuff without it coming back to him, I suppose, is one way we could put it, you know? Like, he could maybe sell it to any old merchant, but then it might get tracked back to him and blah, blah, blah. You can't trust a regular old merchant to be discreet when it comes to stolen merchandise. Um, hand wave it any way you like, frankly. It's just something we need to deal with. I'm sure that I could probably get some sort of mod that lets me sell to any merchant, Morrowind style, but... I'm kind of okay with needing a fence. I just wish fences were, in these games, more more easily available to non-Thieves Guild characters. Like, so just anybody could sell stolen goods to them. 
seat and get the cold out. Uh, right, there we go. I've come to the wrong place, haven't I? It is now occurring to me, but I think I think um, Sadri's shop is going to be closed now anyway, so... Apparently some Nord women were murdered. Not sure why I should care. <sighs> there have been murders in Windhelm. None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. I see. Any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. That's a dialogue line that could have done with being altered if it was coming from a Dark Elf. Um, no, I haven't seen the shrine of Azura. I don't much care to see it either. Um, any bounty work I can help with? Yeah, we do need money right now. Any bounty work I can help with? Of course. It's all in this note. Bounty for crows too, that is. Alright. Uh, Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Let's get something to drink and eat, shall we? Do you sell any Morrowind beverages? I mean, there's loads on the shelves and stuff, but he doesn't actually sell any, which is kind of annoying. Um, I love this fish, though. It's very cheap. Um... If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Uh, where is there? It is. Bass for dinner. We'll go and uh, we'll go and find somewhere to sleep downstairs, shall we? Uh, is this occupied? It is. Hello. Yes, sir. Any free bit? Oh, that's just weird. Um, this will do, yes, I suppose. Sir. Hawker attacks. Surviving a hawker attack by Hydemere Starkad. Interesting. Uh, let's sleep. I might have it stored away. Good morning, Sadri. The deed is done, my friend. Have you taken care of that? Little problem. I've placed Viola's ring in her house. Say no more about it. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Oh, please do not mention fortune, that name here. Here. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Quite enough of Azura and her prophecies for one blasted lifetime. Take a look. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm wondering, have you got any armor? Well, I mean, not really, no, is the answer. <laughs> He's got a few bits and pieces here and there. Like, I'm noticing there's that magical thing on the shelf over there, but... Yeah. Nope, nothing, nothing really here of interest. We're going to have to find someone else. Farewell. If we want armor. Not that we've got a lot of money to spend right now, but hey. 547 gold. So, uh, let's, let's just have a little look at our journal. The golden claw. Oh, we never did bring the claw to Lucan, I suppose, did we? That, maybe that's why I can't sell it. It's a damnable, damnable quest item. I was hoping I could just ditch it, but never mind. Uh, I don't think we ever actually talked to Lucan about the claw, but I think perhaps I think I think I think possibly the Dark Elf guy mentioned in his journal that it was from Lucan's shop. But um, yeah, well, next time we're in Riverwood, I'll try and remember to pop in and be like, "Hey, look, I've got this golden claw, and I can't seem to sell it to anybody. So would you like it?" Uh, talk to the strange jester, maybe not. Um, bring the claw to Luke and find the. Uh, okay, there's that. There's Aaron's gold. Bones for a crow. Read the read the bounty for crow's tooth. Uh, okay. Let's have a look. 
Rumor has it that Forsworn raiding parties have been pushing further and further east along the Jebel Mountains. The arrival of Legate Fassendil has prevented further incursions, but they failed to apprehend their leader, Crow's Tooth. While Crow's Tooth has been separated from her forces, she is believed to have fled with considerable spoils. In an effort to put an end to this threat, anyone killing Crow's Tooth may claim her stolen loot. Mercenaries like infamous, infamous sellsword Bjorm and Windstrider have been seen heading into the mountains beyond Darklight Tower. While they could be after the treasure, it is feared Crow's Tooth is gathering these forces for a renewed assault. We, are, we ask any capable warriors for their aid in dealing with this potential threat, Anuriel. Yeah. Not really in that neighborhood. Uh, I assume one of you is the smith. Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Sounds like you really admire this Ulfric fellow. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the great Stormcloak army. I see. A word of advice. Don't buy discounted armor. Very well. Yes, they all seem to really like Ulfric around here. Well, speaking as one former demagogue myself, takes one to know one. Fancy rocks. I'm not sure he's got your Whistles best interest at heart at all. Um, how is your steel? Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in White Run. I respect your, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. Yeah, what have you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Mostly protection. Uh, let's see. Leather scout helmet, that's different. Um. Studded armor. Oh, this all looks a bit rubbish, actually. Maybe some boots and braces are in order. I've got guards for boots and guards for gauntlets at the moment. Defend uh, armor seven on both of them. And these are armor eight. That just hardly seems worth the, worth the upgrade, really. All that money just for one extra point of armor for each one. It just just doesn't seem doesn't seem worth it, does it? I could get the I could get the studded armor, but I just it oh Fathis would look so ridiculous in studded armor, it's just not happening, I'm sorry. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. Selection is rubbish. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers of their risk their life. Name's new. I'm the cook. Right, I think, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make our way towards Riften because the only, the only quest I have at the moment that I can really do is Azarian's one to go find his books that he's collecting. Uh, one of which we know is is owned by a guy called Sadrin in 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 Riften. So I think Riften is where we shall be going. Well, there seems to be a lot of volcanic activity on this road south towards Riften. I must admit, I wasn't expecting that. It's downright toasty warm next to this fissure. Hmm. Uh, let's take the novice mage hood off. Don't need it right now. It doesn't, it doesn't appear to be quite as cold here anymore. Also, give me all of the things. All of the alchemy ingredients. I want them all. There's not a lot going on at the moment, really. I'm just sort of running around grabbing alchemy bits and make him away along the road south. It's been very uneventful so far. It's a great big ribcage. Still, nice day. Ah, more giants. It looks like they have a mammoth with them. Those wolves clearly picked the wrong fight, didn't they? Well, I'm not going to go getting too close to the pillow. Tough old bastards, giants. 
slain my fair share of them back on Solfsheim many years ago. Not quite equipped for the task now, though. Now, who are these people up ahead? Not trouble, I hope. So it looks like this is where the giants have been camping out. Oh yes, there's another, another one of them, and a mammoth. Hello. Oh dear. Well, here's an interesting idea. Hang on a minute, they're fighting each other. What's going on? Betrayal and perfidy on the road to Riften, it would appear. Looks like these chaps were victims of the giant, or possibly these bandits, it's difficult to say. However, if nobody else has staked a claim on the stuff, I'll help myself. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh my god, we're not off to a good start, are we? Oh my god, this feels even harder than the expert one for some reason. There we go. Oh, I've refunded my lockpicks at least. Potion of the wire and some septums. And a level up. Not bad. I'll have to rest before we can level up, unfortunately, but... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Levitating potion! Hello? Uh, are you all right? What what happened? Bandits. They sacked the caravan. Killed Sandrasa. Ah. Is that the gentleman I was looting just now? And uh, how did you manage to survive? By playing dead. Lucky for me. All they wanted was the gold. Is this the same bandits that you just fought a moment ago? Or different bandits? I am so very confused. Um, do you need any help? Yes. Take me to Windhelm. One of the other caravans sells their wares there. Please. Uh, I don't have much time. Sorry, I'm not going that way. Headed in the opposite direction, don't you know? You're just going to leave me here to die? How could you? Quite easily, as it turns out, I'm afraid. Nothing personal. Alright, mana healing. Ooh, let's have that as well. What have you got? More rubbish, terrible, stupid looking armor. What about these guys over here? Hide armor, just as bad, really. Hmm. Garbage, really? Oh. Who on earth is this? Need something? What have you got for sale? Take a look. Interesting. You're from Hammerfell, I take it, judging by your uh, inventory. Goodness me, an honest to goodness pirate outfit. Look at that. <laughs> it's a hard no from me, but it's kind of cool. A brown cowl, brown gloves. I like the robes available, actually, but they're not magical, so. Um. Seems to be a clothing merchant. Dunmerry Blue Hood. Dunmerry Blue Tunic. Oh! Magicka regenerates 75% faster. Oh. Oh, I just don't have enough money, though. Has he got a red one? Oh, he does. I'd love that. Oh, that'd be perfect. The hood would be nice to go with it, too. Oh, my God. Look! Act 
actual honest to god Morrowind robes. Oh my word. I want them and I want to enchant them. Has he got much else worth grabbing? Noble embroidered garments. Yeah. Quite a selection, this, isn't it? Oh, if only he had, like, the Morag Tong style robes from Morrowind, that would just be. Oh. These and these. Let's see if I can sell him anything. Value, value, value. My, my novice magehood. It's, it's worth it. Oh, the cards. But the cards. Oh. Fiddlesticks. Uh, this potion I don't need. All this frostbite venom I'm never remembering to use. Some fragments. Awful sodding journal. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to lose the cards, aren't I? Oh no, he's not got enough money to buy. Oh, oh, oh crap! Oh no! So we're at an impasse. If only we had a proper barter system instead of, uh, you know. I could just. I could just kill him and take his stuff, of course. People are going to ask questions about that. But, uh. It wouldn't be the first random bystander Fathis has murdered because he wanted something that he had. Uh. It just, you know, it's part of me that doesn't want to do it, though, because it just feels so cheesy. Because we could just take everything and be utterly, utterly filthy rich. And that feels a bit, a little cheesy. This guy, realistically, you ought to have guards and stuff. Um, and a wagon and all that kind of thing. So it doesn't, it doesn't feel very, like... In keeping with the spirit of the roleplay. If you see what I mean, but I really do, I really do want this Dunmeri red tunic. Problem is, he just got, he's got no, he's got no gold, no gold left to buy stuff off me. What if I buy, uh, maybe we can make this work if I buy something else off him first. Uh, let's see. Where is the, where's the hood? Where where are the where are the, the hoods that we wear them? Dunberry shoes, no. Well, with a little bit of shuffling things around and also running over to check some of the barrels and stuff over there for a few extra gold pieces, I was able to make it work in the end. I do now have a, have only twenty seven gold on me as a result. But this felt like an opportunity too good to pass up. So uh, yeah, we've got the red Dunmer outfit with red hood which doesn't do anything but I of course could enchant it at a later date I suppose um which looks fine um I forgot how skinny fat this is when he's not wearing the uh, the big Nordic mage robes that sort of make him look huge um here's what the other robes look like these ones here they're okay uh, the red ones make him look really skinny <laughs> um but, uh, yeah. It's Morrowind-style mage robes. I love it. It's, it's great. I can't put any armor on underneath them, and I can't buff them out with, like, sticking pauldrons on them like you could in Morrowind. This one kind of comes with some built-in, doesn't it? Um, it was just like that in the original game, too. But, uh... Which is kind of neat. No magical effects from it, though. Um, and the, the backpack is floating slightly. I don't know if maybe if I take it off and put it back on. No, the mod's not smart enough to fix that. Okay. Still, um, I got a brown cowl out of the bargain as well, which doesn't look too bad with this outfit, actually, I must admit. Uh, what does it look like with the mage hood? Kind of clips horribly. I mean, it doesn't look it doesn't look completely terrible. It sort of helps go with the with the pauldrons a little bit, but meh. The brown cowl works better. I think it clips less. Uh, 
No, no magic bonus though from the brown cowl, sadly. Uh, but hey, we've got some proper robes, which I, I think at a later date I would like to enchant. That look, that works kind of, kind of nicely actually. That works relatively well. If I could just get a fancy looking cowl, that'd be pretty good. However, what we do need is uh, the red tunic because that. What's that do again? Yeah, magical regenerate regenerates seventy five percent faster, which is actually better than the mages' robes we were wearing. And uh, probably want to go with the more novice mages' hood with that. And uh, we've obviously got our cloak as well. So, not an ideal looking outfit, but not terrible either. And it's red, which is Fathus's color. So, uh, I like it. It's officially pretty good. Although I'm going to pop the uh, the gauntlets back on. There we go. The gauntlets look a little bit weird with the robes, I must admit. But they look okay with this outfit. So, uh... Brilliant! Excellent! Fathers is starting to look a teeny tiny bit more like himself again. I approve. Well, this looks distinctly Dwemer. Not the sort of Dwemer you'd find on Vardenfell. An awful lot of stone rather than rusty old bronze, but, you know. Clearly Dwemer. Question is, is it being guarded by a handful of annoying outlaws with bows and arrows? Nothing much, okay. Let's keep exploring for now until we meet something that makes us run away, of course. Alright. Got a doorway over here. Square doors for the Skyrim Dwemer. Not round ones. Interesting. Old storeroom, huh? Okay. solid metal. 30. It's the way it's 30. But it's value 100. Dwemer gyro. A Dwemer pot. That's worth quite a bit actually. Interesting. Large decorative Dwemer strut. Again, valuable but very heavy. They're like the old cogs and stuff you used to find in the Morrowind Dwemer ruins, huh? The Dwemer convector, empty. More pots. Dishes and things. The pots are really rather valuable, aren't they? As long as we've got the carry capacity, we'll grab a few of them, that's for sure. See if we can get this open. Ooh, look at that Dwemer lot graphic. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Whoa! Yeah. Giant spider broodly. Metal ingots. Huh? As many as I can carry, please and thank you. Oh, a circlet. Bit of jewellery. I can't believe nobody's looted this place over the years. Just 
still hear something else. A pickaxe. That could be handy. Yeah, plates and forks and things. Icky spider. Glowing crystal shard. What the devil Dagothur is that? I have no idea what it is, but it's certainly interesting, and that makes it worth taking all by itself. Identify the crystal shard. Uh, what is it? Interesting. Okay. Looks like there's more to this place. Oh! Something in there. Bloody see it though, it's so uh, dark in there. Don't have a light spell, do I? Oh! There you were. The little spiders are here. I wonder where their mother is. Ah, looks like it's over there. Oof, ow. Okay, that poison's not as little as I thought it might be. Wait for it to recharge then for a moment. Good heavens, that did not have the effect I expected, but uh, it was certainly interesting regardless. What's going on with this web? variety of giant spider, eh? A bit different from your usual. Anything in here? Just eggs and webs. Disgusting. What a nice view. As we re-emerge into the outside world. Looks like there's another entrance over there, though, so... I'm not done here just yet, but look at them. Oh, my goodness. That's quite uh, picturesque, isn't it? Yes, it is. Skyrim is a rather beautiful place, if nothing else. Zoof discovered. I can hear something. Sounds like a spider, but I don't see one anywhere. A dead adventurer. The Ethereum Wars. Okay, maybe Fathis is just going slightly insane. Because I don't see anything that could be making that noise. Still hear a tapping. Okay, that's just okay. That's that's weird. Now I'm starting to get worried. Is this some sort of sound bug?
Oh, it's the bloody spark spell. That's what it is. Requires a key. Oh. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, the sparks. The sparks, they sound kind of like spider feet. When they're doing their thing. Tap, 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 tap. Yep. Oh, I feel pretty stupid now. I don't mind saying. Well, anyway, let us continue on our journey, I suppose. I wonder if we can get to Riften before nightfall. Probably not. Maybe at least we can get to some sort of village. At the very least, some sort of settlement. Something purporting itself to be, roughly speaking, civilization. Or I'll gut you like a fish. Uh... Walk away right now. Nice try, but you don't scare me. I'm not gonna ask again. This guy took me completely by surprise. I barely managed to hit the record button in time. I don't have time for this. You're in oh my god. Uh, okay, he's a bit tougher than he looked. Um. <laughs> Although he's apparently unarmed. Which is a bit of a twist. Oh no, he had a couple of daggers, but for some reason he was punching me there. Very strange. Alright then. A leather hood. Studded armor. I might take that leather hood, actually. He recently sold an identical one to Sadri. Where is that? Right there it is. It's a little bit of extra armor, you know. I mean, it's... The leather hood has always looked a bit silly to me, because, you like, when you position the camera dead on eye level, he clearly can't see where he's going. Um, <laughs> but, uh... I guess it doesn't look terrible, and it is a little bit of extra armor rating. bit hungry. Uh, let's just fix that, shall we? Bit of cooked beef. Right, back to well fed. And back on the road again. Trying to get somewhere in the vague postcode of Riften. Oh, hello. Alright then. Thank you for the random septums and also the pelts. I've been taking the pelts off all the wolves I encounter along the road at the minute. Just... Because it's a little bit of extra potential dosh to sell once we get to Riften. Hello. This is looking vaguely like like it might be civilization. A couple of watchtowers with the Riften flags, banners, whatever hanging from them. But uh, on the other hand, <laughs> clearly the terrain here has gone a bit weird. There seems to be nothing here. place to set up a bedroll if I had one which I don't unfortunately um, I know someone someone in the comments pointed out oh Dave you've got a leather backpack with bedroll I don't think that actually I think that's purely aesthetic I don't think it actually does anything if I drop it and yeah it just it doesn't it doesn't there seems to be no way to use the actual bedroll that's on it I think it's purely a visual thing um, anything in this tower. Nope. Clearly abandoned. I mean, the uh, the, the banners did look a little moth-eaten, admittedly. Oh, no, another one. And, uh, ooh, uh, come here. I will have your pelt, sir. There we go. It's a strangely comforting sight, actually, seeing the uh, the old moon up there, you know? So much else in Fathis' life has changed. But when you look up at the night sky and you see that big old red moon... It's almost as if we could be back on Vardenfell 200 years earlier. Still. It's like a nice little constant, if that makes any sense. 
Fantastic view anyway, by the way. Oh, thistle, thistle. Oh, I'm still on top of it. There we go. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm at my absolute carry away limit at the moment, so I should probably stop picking up random plants and things, because I've, I've almost completely run out of carry capacity. I, I, I've lo I killed an elk earlier and looted the venison for, for cooking, and um, I had to drop one of my Dwemer bowls to be able to do it. What have we got here, then? Obviously been some sort of fight, and the guards lost. Letter to Akar. Akar, we have word of a band of Legion soldiers advancing on your position. Reinforcements are on the way. Talos, guard you. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. They have their own branded stationery. How quaint. <laughs> there's a couple more of them dead up here. And there's a chest that's still locked. Easily done. And now I'm over and covered. Harumph. Eat a venison chop. That would sort me out. There we go. <laughs> Sorted. I must say that I, the forest around here is a lot um, thicker than I remember it being. I don't know which mod's responsible for that, but the, the forest here in the rift is looking distinctly foresty for once. I like it. Feels like a completely different place to usual, doesn't it? I love these painted dragon head things, by the way. They look marvellous. And here we go, some sort of village. Sure stone. Whoa! I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands. Would you mind backing off slightly? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What the earth did he give me? Uh, letter from Orion Morellus. Greetings. I am contacting you today because I recently procured a rare item from a merchant and was informed that they had obtained the item from you. But I suppose I'm getting ahead of myself. I am Orion Morellus, the curator of the Dragonborn Muse Gallery Museum in Solitude. I was hoping you might be interested in procuring some additional items for me to display in the museum. I would compensate you generously for what you are able to find in return. I hope to meet you soon, Orion Morellus, curator, Dragonborn Gallery Solitude. Ah, yes, I've heard about this place. I read a notice about it. Interesting. Well, if there's a task I'm suited to, it's definitely finding old ancient artifacts. I shall consider it. Depends on if he's going to pay me or not. Now then. Hello, everybody. I'd wager I could crack rock faster than anyone. Even you. Even me? Look like a rock cracker, do I? I've been cracking rock ever since I've been able to hold a pickaxe. And I'm telling you... Doesn't look like there's anywhere to stay around here, does there? Although, god, shit, it's getting dark. What makes you so sure? What if I'm right? Night is well and truly fallen. I know there's ore still in there. I can smell it. If you think you're right, then you can pack up and leave any time you like. Unfortunately, I think we must press on. There's nowhere to sleep here. Oh, god. Didn't even see them. That takes care of that. Where did the other one go? Did I get them both? I think maybe I got them both. Can't see what I'm doing though. Who's this guy? Well, look what we have here. Are you looking for a fight? Yes. Um, I don't have time for this sort of tomfoolery. I can smell your shame. Yeah, whatever. I can smell your body odor from all the way over here. What is that? So 
somebody holding a torch. Uh, hello? I love the rift. You don't get any of that ice water you get up north. Sure, it rains from time to time, but most days it's just an endless parade of pearls rocking gently to sleep, like a living lullaby. Uh, you sound like an artist or a poet. Guilty on both counts. Although my wife is the true artist, the way the sight of her makes my knees buckle. Most Nords are acclimated to the cold, I thought. Yes, it's strange how much it affects me. They say that's why I can write such visceral poetry. Most Nords know the cold so well they can see it as plain as the stars, but they can't transfer that feeling into words. I suspect it's because to them that feeling is no different than warmth, so it gets lost in translation. For me, I know the cold like it's my sister. Only we're the type of siblings that never get along. Lately, it's only gotten worse. What's changed? I wish I knew. Every night I go to bed, a chill starts to warm its way beneath my skin. If I do manage to sleep, I dream it's so cold my teeth are frozen solid, and eventually they just crumble in my mouth. Hmm. The hazards of the job? By your logic, it'll make you write better poetry, at least. Yes, but it will also torment my body and my mind. That is not a healthy environment to raise a child. Did you come out here with your torch just to enjoy the forest? Yes, although my love worries it might be dangerous. Spriggans, wolves, and bears live in these forests. Well, we can outrun the Spriggans, avoid the bears, and appease the wolves. I figure I can just throw some meat on the ground and they'll fight each other for it. Of course, she says weeds don't make for a more appetizing meal. <laughs> well, that's all I've got to say about any of this, frankly. I've, I've, I need to be elsewhere. That, goodbye. Farewell to you, good traveler. May all your roads lead to warm sands. Seems to be some sort of old fort. There is a fire lit up there, but I don't see anybody on the battlements, although it's... Oh, no, I speak too soon. There's one right there. I'm not sure the occupants of this place are going to be particularly friendly. I'd better sneak around. Started to warm sands. Excuse me? Visit the couple after they arrive in Riften. Oh, I see. Okay. I hear a wolf. Don't see it, but I hear it. It's extremely dark out here on my monitor. It probably is on YouTube as well. way until we meet the road again. Don't really want to fight whoever's in there. Especially when I can't really see what I'm doing either. I can just see myself getting repeatedly murdered by an archer somewhere in the dark with a bow. That's not going to be a fun time, so I think let's not do that, frankly. Brilliant. Okay, let's carry on. Could this be, finally? Could this be Riften? I do believe so. We finally arrived, everybody. Rift and stables discovered. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. You can't be serious. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? This is obviously a shakedown. Call it what you want. If you don't pay, then you're not getting in. 
fine. Nope, not even. Oh, we don't have enough money. Forget it, I'll come back. Don't want in, huh? Fine. Have a good walk to the next city. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Well, this is quite an introduction to the city, isn't it? What did he give me? Uh, iron breeds of waning fire. Interesting. I can't really move now properly. Now he's giving me those, which is a little bit irritating. Um... Right. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Um, sort by weight, everything. Oh, can I, what do I, need? I need to lose like four arbitrary weight units, don't I? I guess some of the wolf pelts can go. There we go. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculpted down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. Interesting. I've never heard of such a thing. I'm gonna go see if we can get in another way. There might be uh I know there's another gate around the back, but I don't know whether or not it's accessible to us. You know, with vanilla, I don't think it is, but with mods and stuff, you never know, right? <laughs> I can't believe it's the first time I've ever, ever... Oh, this is different. It's the first time I've ever in my life not been able to get into Riften in Skyrim. This is kind of hilarious, frankly. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Turns out, spending all my money on those fancy new clothes had consequences. <laughs> well, here we are. Rifton in all its glory, such as it is. It's very wooden, isn't it? Let's see, uh -huh. the bee and barb. This looks like where we need to stay course it is. I've only played this game for like 2,000 hours. Just in here pretending like I don't know the being Barb is the inn. <laughs> if you the coin, you've come hey, to the right place. Pull up a seat. The question is, do I have the coin? Your allegiance lies with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. Allegiance doesn't lie with the Empire, but it certainly doesn't lie with the Stormcloaks either. Your constant inebriation. Put down your flag and spells with your vile liquids. And embrace the teachings of the hand I'm sorry, of kind. Who, Father? No, no, Marmal. We talked about this. Talon? Kira. The only reason you have the gold for your. He seems to be doing the very opposite of preaching to the choir. I'll pay you back. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Honoring your legacy. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Right, brilliant. We were just scrammed up just enough for that. Come back and see us again. I'll remove myself from I am ready, my sis. My friend, I am ready to pay what I owe. Find me in Rift in jail. I'll, I will be waiting in ego. Live iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Never heard of him. Keep the sermons at the new in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Right, let's head up to the show. You to right this way. Thank you. I was about to ask where the devil is Welcome. it. 
if I can interest you in one of our special drinks, yes? you let me know. If I could afford one of them, I probably would take an interest. All right. Level up time. What do we want? Magic and health, stamina. We'll go with health this time. And where do we want to put our fancy pants perk? Also, it's the weird ring. Yeah, that's... I think the menu's glitched out a little bit somehow. Is this an unintended side effect of the, the new update to the game? Whatever. Uh, it hardly matters, I suppose. It just looks a bit ugly. Uh, right. Destruction? Dual casting, force of nature, ionized path. Interesting. Are there other stuff we could go with there? Conjuration, perhaps. Illusion. Al alchemy? Potions and poisons you make it 20% stronger. Speech. Sell items for 10% more. Your intimidation attempts are twice as likely to succeed. Also tempting. Sneak. Tripwire. What's that? Grants the tripwire power. At will places a tripwire in front of you for 120 seconds, which snaps when tripped, knocking all targets hit by it to the floor. Fascinating. Sneak attack. Sneak attacks with one-handed weapons deal 100% more damage. Sneak attacks with any other weapon or fists deal 25% more damage. That's also pretty nice, isn't it? I'm spoiled for choice, really, I think, when it comes to perks right now. Honestly. More destruction could be good, though. Dual casting. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with dual casting for now. Right, oh, hello. Yep. Good morning, everybody. Get out of my room, please. Oh my god, this game. It's such a weird, wonderful paradox, isn't it? That uh, people love the Elder Scrolls games for the immersion, and yet these games do their absolute level best to ruin that immersion at every possible opportunity. <laughs>